going on today. Uh, quick reminder, there is a giveaway going on. I'm gonna be doing the drawing on June 1st, so the June 1st video will be the drawing of it, but we are giving away this pre-release Dark Gyarados PSA 7. Um, it's just kind of a thank you to anyone who's watched, liked, subscribed, and the criteria in order to be entered to win this Gyarados is to go back to the video on May 17th. I think it probably says giveaway on there. All you gotta do is like that video. You have to be one of my subscribers and then leave a comment in that comment section on that video and that will get you entered into win this Dark Gyarados. So without further ado though, today we're gonna go back in on some more tins. I did not get these out of the vending machine, but they looked very similar um, as far as uh, uh, what, I don't know, what era of tins these were. I didn't obviously check any codes on them or anything like that. I bought them online. I saw that my Best Buy had them for pickup. They were on sale for $8.99. I knew they had three packs, and I was thinking they probably had um, Evolving Skies in them, but I did already take the plastic off because it had like my information all over it. And it's still a good pack selection, sword and shield wise. You get this coin as well, a little, I forget what his name is. He's kind of like far-fetched, but you do get two Silver Tempest and then one Lost Origin in each of these. So we're gonna try to crack into three of these guys and see if we can pull a alternate art Giratina or the alternate art Lugia. And uh, hopefully we get a little bit lucky today because we have nine packs total. And that'll be six Silver Tempest and si uh, sorry, six Silver Tempest and three Lost Origin cards. So see if we can do anything cool out of these today. Hopefully everyone's having a nice week. Um, this video should come out on a Wednesday, so it's definitely a hump day type video as we get a smear goal here in the Litten, Petalil, Chin Chow, Phariseed, got the oh, sorry, the Worker Reverse, and then the Verizon, the Verizon Wireless, or is it really Verizion, Verizion non-holographic there out of our first pack both these sets also have trainer galleries both the trainer galleries i really like i think lost origin i think lost origin is the one that features like three or four pikachus in the trainer gallery as we get a nice code card here the black code card four to the front sword and shield era and then i don't remember exactly What's in the trainer gallery for Silver Tempest? Didn't open a whole lot of Silver Tempest, but it is a fun set, and it has that Lugia chase card. We did just open up the the uh, Heavy Hitters collect premium collection, and we got a a Lugia V Star out of that one, so that was pretty cool. As we get a Reverse Togdemaru, and then the Full Art Magirna, nice Silver Border Full Art card. That is a really cool hit out of our second Silver Tempest pack. Put him off to the side there. Now we'll go with our one lost origin from this tin. See if we can uh, keep this thing rolling. Maybe one nice hit uh, per tin would be cool. Got the full art there on, the, on this tin so far. Lost Vacuum, Cascoon. Ambi Palm, Bronzor, Electrike, Ghastly, Binacle, Murkrow, Radiant Hisuian Sneezler. So that's a nice little hit there in the, uh, in the I'm going to say the Trainer Gallery slot. We get the Radiant Sneezler, but I do like the Radiant cards. Not as cool as the Amazing Rare cards that they featured in sets like Vivid Voltage, but still a, a cool extra, extra hit that you can get in a pack that you normally wouldn't in other sets like Evolving Skies and Chilling Rain and Fusion Strike. Those sets are tough. All right, we got the two Silver Tempest, the one Lost Origin. I'm just gonna get the other one out as well as we get our one Lost Origin and our two Silver Tempest. So finish strong with these last six packs here, starting off with Silver Tempest. So two hits out of the first 10. One Radiant, one Full Art Pokemon. Silver Border though, that probably uh, 
would have got me a little bit if I had seen it, but I kind of just went through it and I was like, oh wait, look at that, full art. Leafy Camo Poncho, Sandy Gast, Relicamp, Halucha, Toga de Maru again, Petalil, we got the Sunflora, and we got the non-hollow Melodic. So nothing in that pack. From Silver Tempest, too bad these aren't the the broken Silver Tempest packs where every every single one gets you a hit. I think it was, I don't even know if they had hollows in them, if it was just V cards and better in those, uh, I think it was one of the lunch boxes I think featured that. And that's why the price on Silver Tempest has, has remained relatively affordable because everyone got kind of scared off by uh, the guaranteed hit packs. Got the Esper. Alteria and the Victini non hollow at a pack number two. Moving on to, I'll save the Lugia artwork for last there. Moving on to our Alolan Vulpix pack. I think there's an Alolan Vulpix V Star in this set. I don't think there's an Alolan Vulpix alternate art though. Now we got the Alteria, the Fletchender, Dracoloke, Whalmer, Murkrow, Emolga, Metatite. Durant, Durant again, reverse, and oh, let's go. Okay, so that is an alternate art. Holy cow, was not expecting that. And this one is actually really cool. I was just watching another video on the Reggie Drago V alt art. You can actually see the Lugia in the artwork here. So that is awesome. Okay, so we just got an alt art. Finally getting a good pull out of Sword and Shield. It's been it's been forever since we had a, a really cool pull, but yeah, you can see the, the uh, Lugia back there on the Reggie Drago V. So very, very cool. That is definitely staying in the, uh, the personal collection there. And that'll be, so far, the pull of the day. So that is awesome. Really, really excited about getting that finally. And Silver Tempest came to play today. I might have to do some more Silver Tempest since it is so affordable. Probably the last affordable set from Sword and Shield. I was looking at, you know, you can still get ETBs of Silver Tempest for 25 bucks. Retail is 40. And if you look at anything else um, from Sword and Shield, everything is at least at that $40. Um, and Silver Tempest being being the last main set besides Crown Zenith, it is the most recent. But I think even at that point, we're coming up on 18 months. I think it came out in like September or October of 22. So maybe even close to two years at this point. Dragonite Reverse and then the Keldeo non hollow there. Dragonite though, I do like that guy. They always do like a fun, happy looking Dragonite or a sleepy Dragonite, like the alternate art uh, version of Evolving Skies. So he's never menacing and mean looking, except for, except for I will say the Dark Dragonite in uh, Team Rocket it, it is actually pretty menacing. All right, second to last pack in our second of the uh, Lost Origin here, the three packs we had. Maybe Lost Origin can give us an alternate art as well. Uh, these tins, really cool pack selection. We get the reverse Torkoal, Torkoal, and then the full heart Rainbow Rare Thornton. So we do get another nice hit, and it's gonna be a Rainbow Rare Trainer. So that is really cool to see as well. Yeah, I don't know. $8.99, $8.99 for one of these tins. Might have to go back and get a couple more. For, for as far as Sword and Shield goes, we've already got four hits and none of them are just regular V cards. None of them are, you know, uh, holographic cards. They've all been ultra rares, secret rares, and then the, uh, the one radiant there, but, uh, yeah, this is a pretty good, pretty good tins so far. So we get the Nuzleaf last pack here, Gift Energy, Hisuian Zorua, Snover, Machop, the Claymation, Pikachu, cute little guy there, Jinx, the Parasect, there we go, that is a Galarian Gallery, and then the Pidgeot V, so a little double banger to end that. And to be honest with you, I only brought four sleeves out here, so I didn't have enough sleeves for these two. I have to get more, because I'm like nine packs, Sword and Shield era. I'd be lucky, lucky to get four hits. And look at that, we just got six hits out of uh, out of our three tins and nine packs. So we'll do a real, real quick recap here 
I'll be careful with the ones that aren't necessarily, but the Parasect Trainer Gallery, Lost Origin, really cool. You got the big old Buckeye, Bug Eye Parasect there. And then I don't know what trainer that is behind, but another, another Parasect behind that trainer as well. We got the regular Pidgeot V. Take a look, yep, just a regular Pidgeot V. I was trying to think if the centering was different, but we got the Radiant Hisuian Sneasler, cool hit. And then we started out with the Full Art Magirna V, pretty cool. And then we got the Rainbow Rare Thornton, nice hit there. But yeah, by far, hit of the day. Alternate Arts are all the rage right now. So I am uh, more than happy to see this come out of a $9.10. And I really like the fact that this one does have a Lugia in the background. Very uh, cool artistic approach with the Reggie Drago V. So anyway, quick reminder, thanks for tuning in today. Make sure you go back to the video on May 17th and enter for this. You got to like, you got to subscribe, and you got to leave a comment on that video. And we will be announcing the winner of this Dark Gyarados on June 1st. So till next time, guys, see ya.